hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing good so today we are going to see data table in view so let's get started with today's video show you first table so that's the view i have created you can see a contact list table and if i'll show you code you can see i'm having first let me show you router so router you can see is just one i am having contact list component in this you can see i'm having table and it's a static table as of now this table we are going to apply our data table so before that we need to install data tables package that is data tables dot net dash dk you can download this from npmjs.com and you can also go to its particular site of data tables and you can see how it's installed you can also see how it's imported now let's go to its the particular site and here you can see css js so now so now let's go and install now so now so now let's copy the command and in command line i have pasted and now you can see it's installed within a second and uh, now you can see how to import so it says import data tables dot net dot uh, dash dt so here let's import i'm importing as of now in just component and in data table website you can see npm so if you will see here how it's imported so i'm going to import like that import data table from data tables dot net hyphen dt and that's how it's applied to table so similar way i'm going to do that and now let's give up now id i'm having is contact table so same id i'm going to give here so hash contact table now we need to include these css into our project so let me show you css file so here you can see it's a min.css file so one way is you can uh, like copy this and paste into your project and like creating a file so let's let me show you this also so data tables dot min dot css i have created in css folder and pasted the content of url that i just showed you now i'm going to include this data table dot min dot js in my app.js file so if anyone wants to keep like css according to their choice where like they want in a particular folder so they can do it like this so here i'm just giving the path of the file and now second way of doing it is that is from package that you can do from app.scss so here i have pasted data table css so now in our component let's uh, create view to template so write export default and here write mounted and in mounted i'm just going to call this var table basically to create data table and now let's go and refresh so now you can see it's having entries per page then you can search bar also pagination is also there and total number of entries also there now let's search anything so here you can see count is also changing with that showing one of one entry so pagination is one only because we don't have much records now let's check sorting of records so it's also again fine here so in this video i've shown you how to enable data table in view i hope you like this video and in my next video i'll be showing you how to fetch data from backend and then display in data table so that's all in this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching